G'day, Jess Garrett here. It's great to have your company for another edition of Surfing Australia TV. We have a big show. Here's what's ahead. We catch up with Steph Gilmore as she's inducted into the Australian Surfing Hall of Fame. Meet Surfing Australia sports scientist Dr Jeremy Shepherd. Hang out with the kids on a camp at the Hurley High Performance Centre and go behind the scenes of the Quicksilver Pro with a bunch of stoked grommies. The Hurley Surfing Australia High Performance Centre is a state-of-the-art facility that was set up to nurture the talents of current and future stars of our sport. It's also there for surfers who are motivated to take their surfing to the next level. And recently I caught up with a bunch of stoked grommies who were there on a Wahoo surf camp. The Wahoo Surfer Groms comps are all about giving grommets their first experience at competition in a fun environment with the added bonus of stacks of activities, beach games and giveaways. It's the only national competition series for the micro groms in under 7s through to under 15s. More than 800 kids frothed on the eight events that took place over summer. 16 Wahoo Surfer Groms Comps Champions from the under 13 boys and girls divisions won an opportunity of a lifetime. Part of their prize was an all expenses paid training camp here at the Hurley Surfing Australia High Performance Centre. The level's really high for such a young age and to have them all together in the same group just pushing each other like they're going bananas. This camp is just an amazing opportunity for them. That's right, I guess uh, it's the next step up. Um, yeah, I guess they're the, the pick of the bunch and uh, they come here to the, you know, this world-class facility and uh, they get to, to see our world-class coaches as well. They've got three days here, action-packed. They're going to be learning heaps of stuff about technique, getting a taste of what it's like to be a pro surfer, you know, travelling, they're staying here. You know, all the young kids are bonding, feeding off each other's energy, so yeah, it's unreal for them. This is a real burger. Man. <laughs> Now, Alyssa, this is a, an amazing opportunity coming to the camp. What have you loved about it? Oh, well, the coaching's great and just meeting all the new grommets who just ripped from all, for, from all around Australia, it's great. So these other young surfers, do you reckon they're pushing your surfing? Yeah, especially the boys, they push me a lot. Yeah, it's good to see where you're at, really. Like, see like, how you're doing on a sort of scale, and, yeah. I normally go better when I'm just trying to have fun but still um, stay focused and try and do what you've, you've set up for your heat and try to stay on task. So we get them in the buses, we're down the beach and straight away we're looking at the conditions, assessing them, asking them some questions, you know, where they're paddling out, what sort of waves they want to catch, coming up with a bit of a plan and then they're just out there frothing. <laughs> So you want to make sure you're taking off on the best waves available. You want to look down the line straight away and look at it. If it's got opportunity, it's got a, got a nice big weight, uh, face on it, you can come down, get a big first turn in, come down, wrap it, and then finish it strongly. So I want you guys to head out, sit on this end bank, and get two really good waves, okay? We've got a point break situation. Yeah. Judges want to see a combination of three different manoeuvres, preferably. Must be it pretty rad to have such awesome coaches helping you. Yeah, they're very advanced coaches and they're just great. As you come down out of it, then you can just do your little wraps back into the pocket, so two of them, and you always want to finish off strong. Come on, Grommies, pile out. Phew. And then you bring them back here and yep. you go through video analysis. Why is video analysis so crucial? It's the best thing for your surfing because you can actually see what you're doing wrong, what you're doing right and wrong. When you see it visually, it, it helps people understand what they need to do to improve and yeah, it's the best tool. And the sure. kids love watching themselves on TV going, oh, he's yeah. charging. Or... They, they love it, that's, you know, their number one thing. They sit down, they're all excited and they're just cheering each other on. Where are you from? Sunshine Coast. Sunshine, whereabouts? Um, Bedina. Bedina, good spot, yeah. isn't it? Um, Central Coast. So what are you hoping to get out of this camp? Well, I'm hoping to fix up some of my mistakes and just 
see how all the other people are going. The feeling of being on a wave, it's just crazy and then learning new tricks and stuff and once you nail them and it feels so good. Young kids pick up things really quickly and that's why it's awesome we can get them in here now at such a young age. If you want more info on the state-of-the-art Hurley Surfing Australia High Performance Centre, just head to surfingaustralia.com. Get many? Not as many as you, Grams. We always wanted to surf, but didn't know how. Now Mum found out about Vegemite Surf Grums. You get an awesome Quicksilver pack. We learn all about the ocean and catching waves, and they have the best instructors. It's like, woohoo! Anyone can do it! Party wave? So give it a go. Just go to surfgrums.com to join. If you want to be a Steph Gilmore or you want to be the next Kelly Slater, you can't afford to go the path of taking drugs. It kills me to think how many guys were good at what they were doing, had, had so many dreams and had so much potential and had just thrown it away because the party scene on a Friday night was more important to them than the rest of the week and their surfing future. All through my using, I thought that I had the power over drugs and I thought that I could stop any time I wanted to. I had no power over drugs. Drugs had all the power over me. Five-time world champion Stephanie Gilmore can add another accolade to the list. At Surfing Australia's Night of Night, the Australian Surfing Awards, she was inducted as the 35th member of the Australian Surfing Hall of Fame. With 21 World Tour victories, five world championships, and the current title of reigning world champion. It is little wonder this year's inductee was chosen. At the age of 19, her domination of women's professional surfing began, when she not only won her first world title, but also a place in the record books as the only surfer in history to win a world crown on her tour debut. And when we first saw her win her first world title, she's just a little girl, pretty much, um, straight out of school. And um, over the last six years, Stephanie's um, really put a whole new light on the way that people look and value women surfing. <laughs> 